Heavy downpours across the Bahamas has left many areas in the capital flooded. Good evening all, I'm C.S. Scatterly and this is the Bahamas Tonight, the weekend edition. Heavy rains early this morning led to the flooded roads and damage to many homes in southern New Providence. For many Pinewood Garden residents, it's deja vu. The Member of Parliament acknowledges that today's rainfall was unusual, but believes that a better job could be done with the drains to reduce flooding levels. Von Albury reports. Driving in Pinewood Gardens was a navigational nightmare on Sunday. Many roads were flooded, some impassable. But for residents, it was nothing new. In fact, as we conducted our interviews, some passersby told us that their homes were flooded once again. We were unable to reach those homes on Jacaranda and Rosewood streets, as the street water was more than a foot high at 4 p.m., long after the rains had stopped and water had receded. Linda Delance had already cleaned the water from her home and was asked about her neighbors. I cannot say what happens in the house, but hopefully most of them should just have tiles because we don't been through all of this with all the, especially one May when we had to rip up all the rugs and stuff. So from then, just what everybody have wooden furniture. So whenever something happened, you know what to do. The Pinewood MP Ruben Ramming believes the flooding could have been less damaging if the drains were properly maintained. He issued this message to those with contracts to maintain the 80 drains in Pinewood Gardens. If you have a contract and you want a contract, do the work. If you have a contract and you're not doing the work, then that means you don't want the contract. It's just as simple as that. But we have an obligation to these people. I say this for the, uh, the fear of being misunderstood. I'm not so much concerned if the drains don't work. Your job is to keep it clear. Keep it clear and let it fail. But don't let it fail because it's not cleared. It's as simple as that. Just do your job. That's all. Senior engineer in the Ministry of Public Works, Dexter Williams, was asked if the Pinewood drains are effective. No, they're not effective. They're, if, they're, they're as effective as the tide would allow. So during high tide, they are not that effective. During low tide, they will take the water, but slower than other areas. However, Williams counters that the drains are well maintained, adding that there was excessive rainfall within a short period. You know, if you have, uh, if you have four inches of rain over a four or five hour period, and um, the wells are well maintained over here in this area, you know, the wells here don't work at the optimum level as they should work. You know, we designed the wells to take 600 to 610 gallons per minute, generally. But these wells here take much less than that. So it's like you have a bathtub and you come with, say, 20 gallons of water and dump in the bathtub. You know, the water will go, but it will take the time and go. And then you have other issues to where what I saw, which was disturbing, was a lot of rubbish uh, bins that were turned over and a lot of garbage floating in the water. So I know some of that garbage contributed to the blocking, of the, uh, blocking up of these um, inlet grids. Even though that rain system is now in the Atlantic Ocean, forecasters say a cold front is expected on Monday night that could bring low temperatures and get this, more rain. I am Vaughn Albury, Zedanus Network News.